Take one man trapped in the bitterness of the past. Put him face to face with the future and the flying turf of the racetrack. That's our story, Long Shot, taken from the files of John Steele, adventurer. friends, this is John Steele. If you like stories of suspense and action, sit down. You've come to the right place. Have you ever had 1,400 pounds of thundering horse flesh straining at your hands? Well, stick around, you will. Because this week's story concerns one of the oldest and most exciting sports, horse racing. And here to tell it is the man it happened to, Dink Williams. Supposing we let him carry on from here, hmm? Dink? You see, when you're a little guy like me, you learn early you got to do a lot of backing off. If you don't, you get your face pushed in. At first, you keep hoping that someday you're going to get big. But you wait and you wait and nothing happens. So then you learn to take care of yourself. When the big guys yell at you, you say, I heard you, and you let it go at that. At least that's the way it was with me. I guess it all started that day down in Florida. I'd been jockeying for about 10 years, and I was good. Worked my way up the contract ladder for Blue Meadow Farms, and I was winning my share. I was up on the favorite, Reliance, and Eddie Breeder was riding the long shot that everyone said was due. It was a sixth race, claiming for four-year-olds at a mile and sixteenth. The rest of the jocks had been giving me a bad time, and I was sore. I was slow coming out of the chute and didn't catch a pack till the first turn. The track was wet and the mud was flying. I could see Breeder was in second place right behind Saunders. I snagged her in good and held my spot. We got around the second turn, headed into the backstretch. Breeder was still up there, but saving it. Had to make it look good, so I let her go and started moving up strong on the outside. The pack was sliding past, and I could feel the horse reaching and closing under me. It felt good. I closed into the rail right on Breeder's tail and held the number three spot down the stretch. When we got into the back turn, I pulled out and started moving up. Inch at a time, inch at a time. Then me and Breeder were neck and neck. You're crazy. That blow. Move too late. Yeah. Never land. Says who? It's a long sucker. We came out of the last turn and headed into the stretch. Breeder put the whip door and pulled away. Like a few reliance floating out, but I held her up to the finish. It was just nosed out of third money. Breeder caught Sanders and went going away. and brought her down slow and easy. Freda made his turn and came trotting back past me. Hey, call that pacing, Williams. Uh, lay off. I knew you'd shut your bolt in the back stretch. You do your ride and I'll do mine. Stick around and give you a lesson. Yeah? Smart enough, jerk you through. Sure, sure. You can't get better and forth with a favorite. Now, uh, why don't you... <laughs> hey, you hit that hand, Williams. It's for me. Yeah. Thanks for the help, buddy. Never would have caught Sanders if you hadn't pressed him and broken oh, back. Hey, 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 where are you? Say better, Jackson, I'm very Jerks. Nothing but jerks. Bring her over here, Dink. Yeah. Okay. Tough luck, boy. Sorry, Mr. Steele. I thought she was ready. Can't win them all. No. What happened? Couldn't get off, that's all. He's never been nervous before. They said I couldn't get off. Get your tackle. Yeah. And then a race in the chute. Those things happen. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Steele. Oh, hi, Miss Corson. <laughs> Oh, I'm so disappointed. I had $2 on Reliance. <laughs> You'll get it back on the next race. Well, I hope so. This is Mr. Corson's niece, Dink. Dink Williams, our jockey. Hello, Dink. How do? My name's Judith. I was so sure you were going to win. Maybe next time. You'd better. By all rights, you owe me $2. Huh? You got any tips on the next race? Uh, sure. Dive bomber on the nose. If I win, I'll split it with you. Okay. See you again. Better go way out. Dink, I said you'd better go way out. I heard you. <laughs> Funny how things happen. 
All your life you get along by yourself and you get used to it. Then all of a sudden you see someone and being alone ain't what it used to be. She was right. Not that anything could come of it, her being who she was and me being me, but she was right. A couple of the jocks saw it happen and started giving me the business. And it didn't throw me. That night I went down to Bullfo's joint like I was supposed to. But I couldn't get her off my mind. I didn't stop for a drink. I just went right on up to the office. Forget how to knock, Sonny. Saving my knuckles. Want to learn some manners. What for? You know, you'll kill me, Dink. Let's keep it that way. What's eating you? Nothing. Don't give me that. Nothing I said. Just because I work for you, you don't own me. Okay, okay. Strictly business. That's the way you want it? Strictly business. That's the way I want it. What happened out there today? You buy the papers. That ain't what I mean. Yeah? Thought you was running too good of a race. Gotta make it look good. Yeah? Yeah. Never used to worry how it looked. Steel might get wise. What are you getting soft? Dink takes care of Dink. You know, if I ever thought you was crossing me, Sonny. Did what? Don't try it. <laughs> what are we talking about? I know you're my boy. Yeah. Now, what do we say? Two grand? You know what we said. <laughs> Just kidding, Sonny. Don't be so touchy. Two grand. Sure, got it right here. Go ahead. Count it. You're smarter than that. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Dink. A businessman. Yeah. And just to show you I take care of my boy, I put an extra 50 on Brita for you. A 20 to 1? Sure. That's an extra 1,000 for you. Been a good day. Gonna be more. Take it easy. Uh -huh. Next one will be the big one. Let's cool off for a couple of months. We've been waiting a long time. Pull up when we go north. This ain't like you. No? Got something on your mind. Lay off. Money? If you need money? Shut up. Just any of the jocks giving you a bad time? It's nothing. Papers after you? No. Women? <laughs> what would a doll want with a little jerk like you? I told you to shut up. Smarten up, sonny. Oh, I knew there was something you getting soft in it. Shut up. Okay, sonny. Go ahead. It's your funeral. Huh? You always been a loner. You want to get soft? Go ahead. Ah, you wouldn't Only understand. Only don't come crying. I never Look, come... we've been building this thing a long time, right? Yeah. You want some doll to knock it all over? No. Then get wise. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. I was crazy anyhow. Now you sound like Dink Williams. Yeah. Now look, uh, don't hang around here no more. Eh? Okay. It ain't good. No. I'll get in touch with you when we're ready. Okay. And stay away from women. Don't worry. Remember. I heard you. Okay, Sonny. Paper, get you in the paper. Paper, get you in the paper. Hello, Gimp. Huh? Oh, hello, Dink. Working late tonight, ain't you? Got to on that. How come? Trying to make a buck. Didn't do so good today, huh? It's nothing. What are you gonna learn? What happened out there today on that? What do you mean? I thought you was a short thing in the sex. How much did you have on me? Uh, not much. How much? A couple of hundred. I had it to spend. A couple of hundred? Yeah, You're but crazy? I told you I had it to spend. So now you're working late to make up for it. I just felt like working on that. I cut it out. Honest, it was though I had in a sock. Ecstasy. Yeah, for the new stand. I'd have spent it some other week. How many times do I have to tell you? I think. Look. Here's the 200. I ain't gonna take it. Go on. Nah. Why not? It wasn't your fault. Take it. I knew I was taking a chance on that. Get... Forget it. It's part of the game. Okay. But promise me something. Sure, Dink. You won't make no more bets unless I say it's okay. What do you mean? Just what I said. Why? Never mind why. You mean it ain't on the... Promise. Sure, I guess so, Dink. Okay. Now give me the Herald. Yeah, sure. See you, Gimp. Yeah, Dink. And don't forget, that's a promise. On that.
That's the way it goes when you learn to take care of yourself. It don't make no difference where the money comes from, long as it's money. Some guys is fussy, but it don't pay off in the end. Things settled down for the next couple of days. I did my work, got my trap shut. Long as it was monster right, I was okay. I forgot about Gimp and Bofo and even a Carson dame. Pretty soon I was feeling myself again. Then one morning I was coming in from blowing out of Philly. Steel was waiting in the yard for me when I got back. Steel and a dame. How'd she go? Wobbly. Ever be a mother? Nope. Did you pull her in at the half mile? Yep. Ran a quarter against a bit. She take it? Ran hard. I was afraid. Okay, Sam. Wipe her off. Oh, excuse me. You remember Miss Corson. Hello, Dean. Yeah. I'm going over to the tack room. Want to come along? No, thanks, Mr. Steele. See you again, Miss Corson. Certainly. Bye. As far as I'm concerned, you're through at the race time, Dave. I oh, guess I better... I'm... Oh, I better... <clears throat> What were you going to say? I... I better get going. Can I give you a lift any place? No. It's no trouble. I... I gotta change. I'll wait. Uh... How do you I, usually go home? Walk. Then I'll wait. No, you see... Okay. Where'll I meet you? Come on. I thought you were going the locker. No, forget it. All right. This one's mine. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, it's really my uncle's. I borrowed it. Yeah. <clears throat> Which way, Dan? Down a shore road. Mm, good. Love the ocean drive. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Yeah. I like getting up before everyone else. Makes you feel like you're getting a head start on the rest of the world. <laughs> I mean it. Left here, isn't it? Yeah. How'd that filly go this morning? Bad. I know. Huh? I watched her coming around the last turn. She was slipping. Call it wobbling. Uh-huh. You know anything about horses? Sure, I love them. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> you have to love them to get up in the morning and watch them exercise. Yeah. I guess so. The ocean's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Did you eat yet? Just coffee. You hungry? Starved. Place down a road. I'd love to. It ain't much. Well, they've got food. Yeah. That's for us. I eat there most mornings. Up on the dune. You can see the ocean from the porch. Sounds wonderful. That's it, up ahead. On the left? Yeah, slow down. It drives right here. Uh-huh. Let's go. Hello, oh, no, Chief. All right. The useful same thing? Twice. Okay, right. Come on. Sit down. Hmm. What's his name? I don't know. And you eat here every morning? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Nothing. Well, it ain't much of I a... think it's perfect. You like it here, don't you? Yeah, I, I guess so. So do I. Huh? I'm going to hate going back north. When? Oh, not for four weeks. <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to it. Miss... I told you. My name's Judy. Oh, yeah. What were you going to say? Nothing. What's taking that man so long? He's got to make the stuff. What'd you order? Scrambled eggs, sausage. Oh, don't talk about it. Well, did you want something else? No, you're just making my mouth water. Here you are, foxes. Ah, at last. Whoop, whoop. Watch the plates. They're hot. Thanks. Just holler if you want something else. Who do we holler for? Oh, just holler for Joe. <laughs> okay, Joe. You see, Dink? It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> Shorty.
Me and Judy did that a lot for the next couple of weeks. She'd come out in the morning and watch her horses run. Then we'd ride down the coast and stop in at Joe's for something to eat. We didn't talk about much, horses most of the time, but she laughed a lot and it was good. I was riding my share of winners and there was talk I might be leading rider of the meet. Steeler was okay and I hadn't heard from Bufo since I went to see him. Then one day just before race time, I went up to the jock's locker room. Breda was there alone. Hello, lover boy. Uh, blow. I've been waiting for you. Where the rest of the guys? What's it to you? You don't like Maybe. them, they don't like you. I'm a race time. I told them I could handle this alone. Handle what? I've been hearing things. So? I hear you like a fast buck. Back off. I hear you've been pulling horses. You're nuts. We don't like that. You're acting pretty big. I know what I'm saying. Jerk. Somebody talk. I don't know what you... Camp! Come on out. Huh? Hello, Tank. What are you doing here? Just trying to help. What do you mean? Rita says you've been running around with... Shut some... up. Just trying to... What are you talking Let about? Let go, Get your mitts off, Blow. Jim. Jim told me what you said. What? Not to put dough on you unless you said it was okay. Just trying to help, Tank. Yeah. Thought if this dame had you goofy... Shut up about her. What's the matter, lover Shut boy? Shut up. Right, huh? Tank. Didn't want Kemp losing his dog. Yeah, yeah. That's all, do you hear? I believe you, Tank. And I hate worse than a crooked jock. Back off, Frida. Don't you pull that favorite. You got this coming, wise guy. All right. Last horse you ever... There's who? Cut it out. Cut it out. All right, get up, lover boy. Get the rest of it. Cut it out, Tank. Okay, Frida. Tank. Get out of the way. Cut it out. Hated you since the first day I saw you. Beat your brains out. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, what's going on? Break it up, you little freak. Tell me. Break it up, Frida. Break it up, I said. Gonna have to report your toe to the steward. I'll be watching you, Williams. Ah, uh, blow. Just trying to help on that. And you, Dink. If this ever happens again, you're through with Blue Meadow Farms. Let me alone, will you? Let me alone. Next couple of days, me and Breda rode like crazy. Pulled every dirty one in a book, and things were getting kind of rough. Breda had one bad spill in a week after. I went down where he rode me into the rail. Papers started playing it up as a feud, and they didn't know how right they were. Then in the last week of the meet, I got a call from Bufo. I put off going to see him, but he sent one of his boys to pick me up, and I knew he meant business. I left the hood in a bar and went up to his office. Oh, Sonny. Who do you think you're shoving around? Oh, get hurt. Send some mug after me? I wasn't sure you got my call, that's all. Don't give me that. We're partners, remember? Yeah. <laughs> I hear you're the hottest thing in the meat. So? That's good, that's good. For what? Always said you were smart, Sonny. Yeah. Like to see my boys get ahead. Huh? And when you lose one, nobody minds. I told you. What, Sonny? It's too soon. Don't be a... I said, where do we go north? No. People are getting wise. I said, no. Been four weeks since the last one. You've been winning everything inside. Who's going to get wise? I say no. It's too late. What do you mean? I got our whole bundle placed in five different books. For when? Tomorrow. Sixth race. Stake race. 25,000. You're up on Ironsides. Two to one favorite. Frida's riding a 12 to 1 shot. The way things have been going, he'll break his neck to beat you. It's a natural. No. Easy street, Sonny. Rest of our lives. No. Never worry about nothing. Anything you want. Dames, cars, anything. No. Don't be a jerk. It's too soon. What's the matter? That doll got you again? Shut up. Crazy little crumb. Shut up, Bufo. Get smart, Sonny. Dink takes care of Dink. That's a laugh. Think of it. Buy her anything she wants. Don't have to take nothing from nobody. Be a guy with dough right up there with all them swells. Just for pulling a horse. And if they find out, so what? 200 bucks fine and lose your license. Think it over, Sonny. Last time? Sure, last time. Okay. <laughs> That's my boy. Knew you was too smart. Remember, no more. Oh, sure, sure. And Sonny. Yeah? Take care of yourself. What do you mean? 
I ain't gonna see you till tomorrow night. Sir? In case you change your mind. You'd never get away. Sonny? I heard you. Don't worry. Paper, get your evening paper. Final paper, get your sports extra. Hey, Dink. Dink, wait a minute. Hey, Dink. Huh? Oh, Oh, hi, Gim. You saw at me or something? I, I was thinking. I didn't mean nothing, not a stink. It's okay. Just thought if you was in trouble on that. Yeah, yeah. Didn't think he was crooked, you know that. Yeah, I know. How you been hitting him? Swell, swell. I was on you in a second yesterday. Boy, what a race. Picked up a cool 50. Good. All the smart money was on Sanders, but you showed him. Yeah. What you doing out so late? Business. You better go get some sleep. <laughs> been saving up for tomorrow. Got the whole 250 on you in a six. Huh? Yeah, I put the whole book. Jerk. Bun... Why? I told you. I ain't worried about it. Can you get it back? You crazy? No book gives you a I dump. told you, Gimp. What's eating you? Nothing. Act like there was something wrong on that. It's your dough. Play it how you see it. I didn't sleep much that night. Kept thinking about Judy and Gimp and Bufo and Easy Street. Next morning, I went down to the track, but there was nothing for me to ride. Didn't see Judy after work, so I walked down to Joe's and had some coffee. Time was dragging. I wanted to get it over with. Then it was race time, and I had a winner in the first. Felt better about that. Wouldn't look so bad. Breeder would run home in the fourth, and we had nothing in it in the fifth. I weighed in for the sixth and walked over to the paddock. Steeler was waiting with Ironsides. Over here, Dink. Stop fussing, Sam. You make her nervous. You okay? Yeah. I figure hold her in to a half-mile pole. You... Sure you feel all right? Yeah, I'm okay. You're the doctor. We're sending you out early. She was nervous last time out. Okay, okay. Better get up. Give me your knee. Dink, wait a minute. Oh. Huh? Oh, I didn't think I'd make it. Hello, Judy. Hello, Mr. Steele. Just wanted to wish you luck. Yeah. We'll be rooting for you. Go on, Dink. Go get the money. Up you go. Good luck, boy. I followed the lead pony out of the paddock and down to the track. All was sending a nervous mind out ahead. The rest of the field will be out in a couple of minutes. I was all alone. Talked to her and patted her to keep her calm. The track was soft. It rained the night before, but the rake had dried it out. Just the way she liked it. Then I heard the call to the post, and I looked back and saw the rest of the set coming out. Up the chute, around back of the gate. Then I waited. I had the post position, but I wasn't going in until the rest was set. Then the field came up. Watch my mud, lover boy. Okay, boys, move him in. Set him down. Steady. Get it, boy. Steady there. All right, take your time, six. Take your time. Hold that, boy. Settle down, four. Steady, steady. Okay, William, bring her up. Easy, girl. Easy. There you go. Easy now. Easy. Looks good. Hold it, three. Looks good. Steady. Steady. Breeder was out first, then O'Brien and me, and we held going down the stretch. Pack points in front of the stands, and we moved into the turn. Breeder dropped over to the rail. I snugged her in good and held the four slot. She was running good and came down nice. Had to make it look right. Going into the second turn, Brady was up in front and going away. Fast, fast race. 31 flying. Be easy. Easy. I snugged her in more and dropped out of six. Easy. Make my move too late. That's all. Nobody know the difference. Easy street. Easy street and Judy. Then we gave me to the back stretch and I had to make my move. Not too much, baby. Not too much. Riding for easy street. But the sucker do it the hard way. Not too much. Suckers. All of them suckers. Gipping his lousy 250. All of them. Easy street and Judy. That's it. Judy. Judy kiss me. Yeah, me. Dink kissing me. Judy, 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 Judy. Pack was sliding by right now. Judy, Judy. How would you think if you knew? Gimp and this 250. What was he thinking right now? Yeah, right now. Come on, baby. Gonna do it. Don't wanna be a smart guy no more. Go on at the back turn. Brita was still out in front. I was up in fourth, then third. Then it was just Brita up ahead and throwing mud. They gave it a whip and let her go. 
last turn he had me by a length, but I was flying. Moving up, moving up till we was neck and neck. Sure. Flow! Move too late! Yeah! Get through! Heat mud! I gave it a whip and she was there, every bit of it, pulling and stretching, pulling and stretching. Rita couldn't hold her place and started falling off. Then the line came flying up and I was home going away! I thought I had it lit up. Well, let me along. And another horse. Lay you off. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing. Okay, okay, just another race. Yeah. Where you going? Huh? Ain't you going to the winter circle? No. Some guys. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be out at the window. ain't. Mr. Corson will be sore. I'll let him. Nice race, boy. I wish he had it, that's all. Thought you'd waited too late. Almost did. Dink, you were wonderful, wonderful. I was so excited. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for you at the winner's circle. Well, let him wait. He's tired, Judy. Oh, I'll just stay a second. It's okay. Long enough to say goodbye. Huh? I'm leaving tomorrow. Probably won't see you before I go. It's been wonderful knowing you, Dink. Yeah. You too, Mr. Steele. Thanks. I better be going. I'll get my bed in for the last race. Bye, Dink. Bye, Mr. Steele. Bye, Judy. Quite a girl. Understand she's going to be married in a couple of months. Oh, I almost forgot. Right after the race, you had a phone call. A fellow by the name of uh, Buffo said he wanted to see you. Dink. I said a fellow by the name of... Uh... I heard you. Yeah. I heard you. Title, Long Shot. The story of a man who learned too late that no one can live alone. And if you like Dink's story, friends, why not come back next week? I'll have a man who had an unusual adventure. He searched for someone in a raging flood and found himself. I like to call it Valley of the Shadow. So until next week, this is John Steele saying, A life of adventure is yours for the asking, wherever you find it. Only don't look for it. It may find you. Well, <laughs> goodbye and good hunting. John Steele Adventurer is produced by Robert Monroe, written and directed by Elliot Drake. Alan Stevenson was heard as Dink. Also in our cast were Joyce Gordon, Ross Martin, and Mort Lawrence. John Steele is played by Don Douglas. Musical effects were created by Doc Whipple. Your announcer is Ted Malley. Remember, next week, Mutual presents Valley of the Shadow, another story of suspense and action from the files of John Steele, adventurer. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.